You guys have been asking for it, so I had to do it. Today we're making the top 10 list of the best basketball YouTubers. And let me just say, it's a lot more difficult to make this top 10 list than I actually thought it would be. There's a lot of really good basketball players that have started YouTube channels and then YouTubers that also play basketball. There's just a plethora of categories here of, you know, pro players, street ball players, hooper hoopers. But what I'm gonna do with all these categories of different types of top 10 lists, this and that, I'm gonna squash all the categories and I'm gonna add everyone into one top 10 list right here. And the only people I'm gonna exclude are NBA players, you know, like the Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butlers, those guys that have YouTube channels. And I have love for all of these guys on this list, but I think I've compiled the best top 10 list, the most accurate top 10 list out there. And before we get started with the list, I want you guys to know I'll be reacting to other people's lists, but on my second channel, I'll link that in the description below. You guys can go subscribe to that and check out my reactions. This is a fun time in YouTube where we get to debate and talk about who's the best, who should be the top 10. So I think it's pretty exciting. Now let's get into the list. At number 10, this may be shocking and surprising to a lot of people, but at number 10, I've got my man, Jesser the Laser, the one and only Jesse. And I put Jesse at number 10 on this list because he is extremely skilled, guys. This guy's got a legit lethal arsenal of moves in his bag, and he's played a lot of one-on-one -on -one games against some very high-tier talents, NBA guys, um, college-level guys, all sorts of people like that. And Jesse, I seriously think if Jesse would have committed as much time to playing basketball as he did growing his YouTube channel. I think Jesse could for sure have played at the college basketball level, but at such a young age, he went straight into YouTubing and he has absolutely flourished in YouTube. So Jesser comes in at number 10 on this list and at number nine, I had to throw someone in that has been super slept on throughout all of these lists. He's played professional basketball in China. My boy, Nelly Nel Chan, his channel is Hoop in Life and him and I actually played a one-on-one -on -one way back last year about this time actually and it was a tough legit one-on-one -on -one. he's a smaller guard that is extremely quick and has crazy bounce i think he's almost like five nine and he can windmill dunk insanely explosive athlete he's a shooter also and my man plays pro basketball over in china and i can't believe everyone's been sleeping on him on these lists so i had to put respect to my bro on the list and I had a really difficult time ordering the seventh spot, eighth spot, and ninth spot on this list. All of them I feel like could be pretty interchangeable by their skill level and size, really. So next up in the eighth spot, I have my man, Jay Jones. I've only played with him once, but he's an absolute scorer. He's got it all, guys. He, he's, he's quick, explosive, got a jumper, can get to the cup, plays good defense. So big time respect to Jay. He definitely earned my respect when I played with him the one time out in LA. So he takes in the eighth spot right here. But at the seventh spot, we got my man Tristan Jess, who is an absolute phenom. He's got like the quickest hands with the basketball I've seen in a long time outside of the professor, man. The professor is in a different league of himself, but T-Jazz is like a young professor on the way up. I feel like the only thing that separates the professor and T-Jazz on a, a major level is that the professor's played professionally and T-Jazz has only played at the high school level. Even if he played it at the college level, I'd probably bump him up on the list even more. But he's an extremely talented dude. When I saw him play in person for the first time, I was like, oh my God, he's, he's legit. His hands and all the layup, crazy layups he does are insane in person. He has crazy ball speed, so much respect to T-Jazz, for sure. Next, coming in at the sixth spot, another guy that got zero respect on these top 10 lists who definitely deserves it. He's played college ball. He's an absolute unit. He's lethal with his left hand in around the basket, and he's got a great jumper. My man, Marcellus Howard, comes in at number six easily. Him and I have hooped together a few times now, and he is extremely talented. When I watched him, I was like, oh, he's got, he's got it. You know, It's just one of those players like, oh, he's, he's got it, he's legit. Count him in on the top 10 list, easy. So big shout out to Marcellus. That left hand is lethal. I wish I was left-handed, man. <sighs> Charlie was acting a fool, so he'll help me make the, the top 10 list also. So Marcellus comes in at number six. He actually just dropped his, his college highlights, so you guys should go check those out for sure. And you know, there's not many people on this list who have college highlights, really. So big shout out to Marcellus because he can really hoop, and he brings us in at the number six spot. And then number five, I've got to get this guy on the list also, he hasn't been on any list. He's got over a million subscribers on YouTube, so I don't understand how people aren't putting him in on this list. My man, B-Dot, 
A dot. He went out and played professional basketball. How are we excluding him on on these lists? We got to we got to make these lists real, man. This is the real basketball YouTuber list right here, guys. This I'm not leaving anyone off except for NBA players. B dot's tough. He loves that fadeaway in the corner, and if he's hot, he he can make that eight straight times. So I, I got to give B dot at number five on this list. Next up at number four on this list is a person that none of us want to guard. Okay. Charlie doesn't even want to guard this guy. I know you don't want to guard him. I don't want to guard him. It's not fun, okay? So at number four, I've got my bro, the Bone Collector, okay? The one and only. You guys have seen him. He snatches ankles. He takes people's soul, man. It's... It's scary defending that guy. So I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. He, his hezzy move has you on your heels. Like, you're so confused at how fast this guy is with his hesitation move. So... That's why Bone Collector comes in at number four. I put I would have put him higher, but he's a little undersized, so you can kind of contain him on that. But he has worked on his jump shot, and his shot has gotten a ton better. So he might be rising up on this list for sure. Big shout out to my boy Bone Collector. He's played professionally. He's played on all these the street ball tours and everything. So he's a legit certified hooper. All right, guys, we got the top three now. The final three spots for the top 10 best basketball YouTubers. Here we go, coming in at number three. All right, Charlie, thanks for your help. I'm gonna put you down because I know you wanna go play with your tennis ball. We've made it to the final three and coming in at the three spot. This may surprise a lot of you guys, but I think you'll understand when you hear who one and two are. So coming in at the three spot, I've got the one and only, the giraffe gang leader, my guy, LSK, AKA Chris London, he's extremely talented. He's got crazy long arms and bounce too. I mean, he's what, 6'9", 6'10". I've only hooped with him a couple times now and I, I can tell he's he can actually play, man. This guy, this guy is legit. He's a real hooper. So he went out, he played college basketball as well. He's got the experience. He knows what's up. He knows where he wants to be on this list. He wants to be number one, I'm sure. Just like all the other guys on this list, think they're number one also. That's the mentality that all these YouTubers have, and I love it. That competitive nature, man, we're gonna get something going. With all these guys, we're gonna make it happen. I put Chris at number three, and I think you guys will understand why once you hear who the number one and number two spot are. So we're gonna move right into that. In the number two spot, I have the most explosive athlete on this list, and the best dunker in the world. My man, Chris Staples, comes in at number two on my top 10 list. Hands down, you guys have seen him do crazy things. He dunks on anyone, but he isn't just a dunker, guys. He can shoot the ball as well. I've seen this guy rail off eight straight threes easy in game and, and doesn't even matter out at venice beach when it is it's hard to shoot on those courts but he can get them up and then he goes and dunks on people also so that's why chris comes in at number two and finally at the number one spot we have the goat of them all the greatest of them all the reason a lot of us are on youtube right now is because of this guy okay he started it all he made it happen he <laughs> He came up in my hometown, so I gotta recognize, I gotta show love, show respect where it, where it needs to be. He came up and played in the And One Tour. He's showed us all what's up in his Spider-Man series. The one and only Grayson Boucher, AKA The Professor, is number one on the top 10 list, no questions asked, okay? He is by far the most entertaining person I've ever played basketball with. And he's not just entertaining, he's lethal with it too. I've seen him turn people around in circles, not knowing where they are or who they're even guarding anymore, and he'll just be making a lane. He can make things look so simple. I've tried to replicate his moves and I can't even do them because he it's almost like his body type is perfect for what he does. He's I don't, I think he's about 5'10", but he's got really long arms and a low gravity to the ground. So he can make moves that normal people can't. I'm at 6'5", I can't get her on the ground like that. And then when I go play with him, he can just 
make things look effortless, whether it's his behind the back passes, throwing the ball between someone's legs, going catching it, snatching it back, crossing it around again, and making them fall on the ground, and then just shooting, shooting a layup, maybe a jumper. He is number one, and there is no argument about it. And I know a lot of you guys might be asking, okay, well, AJ, where, where do you put yourself on the list? What about Timo? Well, guys, I decided to keep us off of the list. We, we're over here doing our own thing, I feel like. You know, Timo and I are on our, our own little wave. Timo and I played college hoops at, at the highest level. Timo had a fantastic college career, guys. He's got the school record for rebounds in a game over there. He's got the school record, I think, for wins in a season. He's a winner. Guys, Timo just gets the job done and he does the dirty work. He was like the Dennis Rodman of his college team, just setting everyone up to score. And the guy was just a hard worker and a leader at the, at the college level. So he's on a separate list of his own. And for myself, I'm not even gonna speak on that anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 list. And right now you might be thinking, where, where's DC Heat? Where's J-Law B-Ball? Where's Dev in the lab? I'm gonna be honest, I've never hooped with those guys, so I can't speak on their name. And that's that's just as simple as it is. If I haven't hooped with them, I didn't put these people on the list. I, I wasn't really trying to talk about someone. I don't know, I've not, I don't have the experience or, or watch any of their videos or uh, know what type of caliber hooper they are. So if your favorite YouTuber isn't on this list, I sincerely apologize, but hopefully I can meet him someday and hoop with him. But this is, as, as of now, the most accurate top 10 list out right now. So feel free to let me know if you think I got this top 10 list correct or incorrect and go ahead and try to make a list of your own. It's pretty difficult to be honest, but I'd love to see your guys' list. And I had a good time making this list and it's, it's been so much fun watching people talk and debate about who's the best, who should be on the top 10s. I think this is a, this is a cool thing during this time. We're going, we don't have anything else to do. All we can do is debate, talk and have fun. So. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Make sure you guys go check my second channel out. I'll be reacting to other people's lists on my second channel. So I'll link that below. We're already over like 12,000 subscribers and I've only posted one video on there. So thank you for all the support on that channel. I'll be reacting to my college highlights on that channel. My first video is reacting to my high school highlights. So go check that out. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to like, subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Peace.